Hi friends, welcome to Black Smiles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about contains keyword or contains function in Tableau. Let's get started. Contains function returns true if the given string contains the specified substring. The example is right below. Contains of calculation, comma, ALCU equal to true. Let me explain it clearly. As I said above, or as I said earlier, contains function returns the string if it is matched with the substring which is passed. So here let's clearly understand with an example. So this is the string calculation I have passed inside contains function. And this is the substring which is nothing but ALCU. So this is the substring I have passed to match with the string calculation. If it contains the substring ALCU, then it returns true. So here we have ALCU substring within the calculation word or calculation string. That's why we are getting the return value as true. Let me open Tableau desktop and show you with an example. I have used Tableau, I have opened Tableau desktop application and I am using sample superstore data. Now, let me bring a field over here, which is nothing but customer name to the Rocher. We have lot of customer names available over here. Now, what I'm going to do is, let me create a calculated field. So, there's a drop down available here. I clicked on it and we, we will be able to see the option create calculated field and I'm clicking on that option. As soon as I click on that, I got this pop up and let me show the string functions available over here. And let me explain the contains one more time. So I have clicked on contains keyword or contains function. So as soon as I click on that, I can see the syntax over here, which is nothing but contains of string comma substring. So as I said earlier, we are passing a substring to compare with a string and it will return the value in the form of Boolean values, which is nothing but true or false. Returns true if the string contains the substring. As I said, it is going to return true when the substring con when the string contains the substring or the substring matches with the string. So the example is like this: contains of calculation comma ALCU is true. So what I am going to do now is I am going to write a calculation over here. I am I am using contains function and I am going to pass customer name comma I am going to pass a substring. AL. And I am renaming the calculation to contains test. And I am clicking on OK. Contains test is already available. That's why it is throwing an error. I am changing it to contains test 1. And I am clicking on OK. So I am going to bring this calculation to text. So let's see what it's going to display. So wherever it is, it has the substring EL, it is going to display true for all of them. Since we have lot of values over here, it is difficult to analyze each and everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter only true values. So first thing, I'm going to bring the contains test to filter shelf and I'm selecting on true alone and I'm clicking on OK. And the next thing, still, Though we filter uh, true values alone, we still have lot of values. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a region. I have bring I am bringing the region filter. I mean I'm in a region dimension and I'm selecting east alone and clicking on OK. Let me change the filter to quick filter. I am deselecting East and selecting South. So, in South we have at least you know, manageable values to identify or analyze. So, in all these 
customer names i mean the strings available here we have al for sure so here it, it the customer name is starting with al and in this particular string we have al as well damala at the end of the word we can see the string al the same way natali here also we have L. That means it. I mean the substring is comparing with the each and every record available in this particular dimension and giving us the result as true. So this is how you will be able to compare the substring with the existing values in your database or a whole dimension or a single value. Earlier in the example we have seen that we just passed a static value and compared and passed is substring to that so that we got only one value now we are comparing the whole dimension along with the substring provided let me change the substring to something else and just see what will happen now what i am going to do now is i am going to change the al to te and let's see what will happen i just clicked on apply and clicking on ok so here it ends with te and here te is available in the middle i mean the substring is available in the middle here the substring is available in the middle so likewise it is comparing with each and every string and giving us the result this is how you can use um, contains function in tableau this is just uh, used to compare each and every record and identify whether the substring is available for example if you are applying a wildcard filter in this case you will be able to use the contain keyword or the calculation uh, built based on the contains keyword thank you guys thanks for landing at my channel lax mills 31 if you like my video or like my content please like share and let me know in the comments what could have been better and if you have any questions for me do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.